Okay, back with Scott Must Snowfall, probably going to finish today. I left off at a really exciting point in the story last time. What I think might be the final boss, question mark? No idea where the game actually wants me to go though, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Game audio balance looks okay, but let me know if it's too loud. Yeah, this guy's pretty scary. Unfortunately, he doesn't hit too hard, so that's nice. I think I get to play with my toys. Oh god. Not dropping down here is just, like, unacceptable. It doesn't kill me. But it's not great. Try to regen health a bit here. Let me go. I think I can interact with that. I just have to clear it. Okay, I understand now. I have to stay away from him long enough to not die while I clear the corruption. Dodge around him in the meantime. Each time he grabs me, it resets my timer. Okay, I see. I think I can technically delay him slightly. came from. I think I have a particularly quick way to find the other ones. Oh, nice. Whoa, that's new. Ouch. Oh, shit. Hopefully that doesn't completely reset me. I think it does. So I can follow the tendrils to find the things. Oh, nice. towards the center to find any nodes I'm missing. Oh, jeez. Possible it's not around the edge. Okay, so 
There's still one more off to the right, it looks like. And up left. Here, maybe? Here it is. Pretty well conveyed fight, actually. Gun country barrels here. Oh, well, not like that. Oops. <laughs> this one's over this way, so it's actually a good place to start. It's up from here, so is there a launchy point? Yes, okay. Oh, rude. I think I got it though. Oh, it just fucking ate me. Damn. Scary. But I think I finished destroying the thing before that happened. Let's see. Verify the horse statue here. Nice. Back just being a regular Stalu guy. Yeah. No, Olofa, Mo. No, Fa, Mo is not the drum. <laughs> so, going to require me to return the reindeer bone. Looking significantly better than it was. Reindeer. I have to return the bone. Oh, 
Mika alkaa valmistalla kohti pärnemään talvesiitiin. Tämä tämä. To now her skin is so far. Oh yeah, I can't, uh, I don't have the drum anymore. Music's really pretty. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Night way. To, now that you don't have the thing that tells you which way to go, and use the credits. And also follow the reindeer spirit. Yeah, this game is really good. Uh, when I first booted it up, I'm like, okay, it's, it's got to be like a walking simulator, right? Like the concept is. I wasn't expecting as much video game as there is in this. Um, there's actual like interesting level design and some boss fights. Actually, a pretty decent platformer. Story's really cool, and I learned a lot. A oh, very pretty game. They mean that? It was in a cave that I got it. I don't think I've seen a game do credits like this. I think that's pretty clever. Where, like, your diegetic objective marker thing gets taken away from you, and so they use the credits as a way to continue to draw your attention where it needs to be. you miss the best part of the song there. <laughs> The game's whole soundtrack has been really good, but the song is awesome. This part plays out in cutscene too. Sorry about your drum. I think that that's one of your first objectives too, to return that.
Yeah, it's not like an edutainment game. It is educational. Oh, man. Setting up Scott in the Snowfall 2? Scott in the Springtime? Uh oh. Oh yeah, the horse. Pretty scary. Oh, man, Manu, bætta nú sérra þín. Ræði eitthvað ala chat. It's a really striking visual. Ooh, Polar Night. Is that already out? Well, I guess not, because this game came out in 2022. I'd be excited to play that whenever it gets released. It's a pretty exciting setup there, yeah. No, this, this game is really good. Um, like I said, it's... Uh, it, we need to see more games that try to do this, right? That try to, like, represent underrepresented people and um, kind of interweave a, a fictional story with a uh, real history of people and include a lot of the mythology that I'm guessing a ton of audiences aren't familiar with. And we've seen Greek mythology and Norse mythology a million times at this point. Uh, it'd be cool to uplift some more cultures, if only just for the variety. Like, you can only see so many takes on Odin before it kind of gets boring, right? Um, I don't know, I think the game just does a really good job of conveying those things through game mechanics, making you feel the right feelings, Emotional Support Squad. Carl's a good pet name. Red Panda Videos. Yeah, no kidding. Cuddly Husband, Otto Aranen. It's like, it's like his, like, RPG boss title. Cuddly Husband of the Stagnant Veil vale or something. Random, but very special thanks. Forget. Heal the land, we must first heal the people. Interested if they're going to keep the, the drum game play in the sequel or try to explore something else, right? Either would be interesting to me. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, Kaimom, let me know if the sequel comes out and you want to put it on your sub block. I would enjoy it. 49 deaths. <laughs> zero kills. I assume it's always zero kills. But that's cute to put that on the screen there. I like that. Yeah, this is a fun time. Thanks for sharing.